after three weeks in New Mexico, finally made our way in Arizona, and we finally get to do some overnight camping. Arizona. It's a cool 65, 70 in the sun. <clears throat> so toasty. <clears throat> Last couple nights it's been 15 degrees in Arizona or New Mexico where I was staying. <clears throat> but <clears throat> we got our backpacking gear packed up. I know the bag looks big, but I got everything I need for one night. I got my sleeping bag. It's supposed to be down in the low 40s tomorrow night. So, sleeping bag, something for to wear at night that'll keep me warm. <clears throat> also, I got a dog, so I got to take a little extra stuff for him. Camera gear. <clears throat> so, the bag looks heavy, but I only got to go a mile and a half. <clears throat> if that, up to where we want to go. But where we're headed, nice views of these mountains over here. There's some mountains back this way. On the drive in, on the other side of the hill where we'll be. <clears throat> looks like a nice, nice area. So, hopefully get us some nice sunrise photos in the morning. If we get up there early enough, sunset, <clears throat> next morning sunrise. Now, Saturday, no, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <clears throat> they're calling for rain, 60, 50% chance in the mornings. <clears throat> so, it's not supposed to rain too heavy. So, Sunday morning, we'll get up, hopefully catch them. <clears throat> sunrise photos and since there's weather coming in hopefully we get some <clears throat> nice moody clouds over these mountains it makes for some nice sunrise sunset photos <clears throat> but Sunday morning do that and then head our way back down here and see what the weather's gonna do for the next couple days it's a nice area so I'm kind of hoping to be able to stay here for a couple nights and do a little bit more exploring but tomorrow morning we'll get up get around get our boots on and get them moving out up here I'm not gonna talk too long we'll do that in a minute the sun's starting to come up we're getting some light on the foreground now so I'm gonna start shooting and once I feel comfortable then uh, I'll stop and talk in plus it's kind of dark I don't want to hold this light so let's get to it
for the sun to come up more. Sky's really, sky's really getting nice and orange over there. Really waiting for it to, starting to get some on top of that far mountain out there, one with the snow on it. So I'm really hoping to, that sun will light that up real nice. That's the one I'm really looking forward to getting. Um, but it was, it was rough getting up here. Very loose rocks. Seemed like when I thought I was getting close, I look at my uh, GPS and it's just slightly further. So, but we made it up here. I don't know about pitching a tent up here. It's just all rocky. So I'll figure that out later. We got we got all day to figure that out. So I'm gonna stop talking and get back to shooting. <laughs> Sorry I haven't really been uh, going over what I'm doing. The, the light's just changing so fast that I'm just trying to get what I can. I really don't have time to be moving this camera around at the same time. I got light shining on the mountains real nice over there. Those big ones with the snow cap, they just keep changing. Like, I can adjust my... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna continue shooting. I don't, it changes too fast. I mean, too much around me. So I'm gonna get back at it. It was getting pretty cold up here. His little orange vest wasn't really cutting it, so he's got my army jacket liner on. I think it's warm, warm. So he stopped shaking. So poor old Harvey. I drag him all over the place. All right, it's gonna be windy and real cold. And I forgot my gloves. <laughs> but the light, the sun's coming up quite a bit where for me it's not I mean, the, mount, the light on the mountains over there the snow mountains it looks pretty good i just not big at shooting in towards the sun plus everything out there 
the lights behind it so all the subjects are just they're just dark there's no light on them <clears throat> so tonight the sun's going to set down over there so that should light everything on this side like it is right now on this um also when i sat down to take a break camera's in my back pocket and i smashed the guard for the cameras so luckily the camera's not damaged just a protective coating i don't know why i did that but so when we leave here i gotta find me another store to get a cover for the cameras i'm glad i had a cover for the cameras or the actual lenses would have busted but that's what we're working with i'm gonna stay up here a little bit more and wait see if anything changes the light way i like it if not i don't know about finding a space to camp up here i'm gonna look it's gonna be windy tomorrow morning is supposed to be oh wind's getting up to like 17 miles an hour so <laughs> might be pretty brutal but it's only supposed to get down to like 48 at the lowest so uh in the 50s most of the night so that being said we're gonna do what we can and go from there As I hate to, I think there might be a change of plans. <clears throat> I was just looking at the weather in the morning. They're calling for 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts and winds. <clears throat> and we're out here in the wide open. <clears throat> and then also they're calling for rain. <clears throat> Even they're only like a mile, mile and a half from the truck. The high tomorrow is only 52. <clears throat> in the morning, we're walking back. It'll still be in the low 40s. <clears throat> So that, at the high winds and the rain, it's gonna be a long, miserable mile, mile and a half. I really wanted to, just because of the rain, is <clears throat> has kept me from going further, further that way, because there's there is real nice scenery further that way, <clears throat> away from my truck. And the reason I was gonna stay down around this area <clears throat> was that way in the morning when it is raining. I didn't have as far to go. I don't. I'd rather walk a mile in the rain than walking two, three, four miles in the rain. <clears throat> so, more or less, I think we're gonna head back down as much as I really hate to. <clears throat> I mean, we got some nice photos this morning. I'm glad we did get up here before that sun came up. I woke up later. I wanted, <clears throat> but if we uh, go back down, pack up head out I can hit the Verizon store in town <clears throat> get me a new cover for my camera on my phone that I sat on and busted camera luckily the cameras are good I just got this phone but after that I was looking at my app where my camping app <clears throat> in the mountain we were shooting the snow caps actually it's called Mount Graham <clears throat> the peaks at like 10,000 some feet <clears throat> halfway up there is a free camping area it's about 5,000 feet up it'll be cold but well, actually with all this rain coming for the next few days and being cold up there you'll be able to get a lot more snow and from there um, by looking at the map you shouldn't have to travel very far on foot to get some nice photos of those peaks with fresh snow and all that so I'm thinking I might regret it it might be <laughs> it's gonna be cold and I don't like the cold, but for chances of photos like that, it's hard to pass up. So it's it's hit or miss. Looking at the map, it looks like it could be pretty nice. So 
I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't I don't really want to risk 20, 25 mile an hour winds, ripping by my tent, rain, and cold weather. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and pack up. We got time. I don't have to rush there, but I'll slowly make my way back down there. So that's what we'll do. We'll see you down there. Stop real quick and take my jacket off. It's getting hot now. It's supposed to be in the 60s. But where I stopped just happened to be right beside these things. Hopefully it focuses. Yeah, these here. <clears throat> this morning, <clears throat> hiking up. It was dark. <clears throat> I was trying to look ahead of me real quick to see where I was going. And I went straight through a big patch of those. They went straight through my butt. My butt. Straight through my boot. Right into my, oh my God, that hurt so bad. But be vigilant out here. Look down also. down is a lot easier than going up but <clears throat> that side of those hills are just nothing but rocks i mean if you're not paying attention you're going to easily roll <clears throat> your ankle this you think one big rock is supported and then the whole thing rolls over <clears throat> but we made it back safely <clears throat> sadly the clouds man they're just rolling in nicely <clears throat> so i think that sunset would have been phenomenal from over there <clears throat> but we're heading to those later today so all those clouds should still be up there and probably in the morning so all those snow pack snow capped mountains and maybe some fresh snow in a couple days i think it'd be worth it i don't i don't want to regret my decision but i don't think i will i think it was a safe call dealing with all that those high winds and rain but once I get up there, I'll, if I can, take a few minutes of video just to show the area out and in this video there. If not, if I'm not able to or don't, we'll see you next, next video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. it help me out. All right. Till next time. Well, we made the right decision. Wind advisory went up from 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts up to 40 to 45 mile per hour gusts. So we made the right decision. Right now it's about eight or so in the morning up here where we camped, further up the mountain. It's really windy. Trucks been rocking all night. Right now it's like snow, rain, sleep mix going on. So definitely glad we decided not to stay out down at the bottom. So. Good on me.